Anyone who's familiar with Pokemon knows that since its inception in 1996, the franchise has gone on to become one of the biggest in the world. The Pokemon is on a direct course to an imminent death. In today's video, I will... Ah, caught you, didn't I? You clicked on a negative clickbait because you wanted to see how this franchise worth billions is dying. I don't blame you. Negativity sells. And the latest craze is proclaiming the downfall of Pokemon. While I personally don't believe the franchise is dying anytime soon outside of a cataclysmic disaster, I, like all fans, have my personal preferences and quirks regarding the franchise. If you don't walk away from this video empty handed, I will share one of my personal concerns with the direction the franchise has taken recently. If you are a fan of my Pokemon Emerald Let's Play, you'll know that I've touched on random encounters and how I feel they are an essential part of the Pokemon experience. While the origin of the random encounter mechanic was due to necessity, over time the mechanic has evolved to become a beloved signature in Japanese RPGs. For the Pokemon franchise in particular, random encounters were a critical part of the game's lore. One of the very first things the player learns in the game is the dangers of stepping into tall grass because that is where wild Pokemon will attack the player. As the series progressed, Game Freak built upon this mechanic with features like shiny Pokemon, Pokerus, abilities that allow a player to manipulate Pokemon encounter rates, and more. Story-wise, the lore of the mechanic was also built upon. In Generation 2, roaming legendary Pokemon were introduced. These Pokemon roamed all around the game world, and players would either have to use all of their knowledge and skills to track down these Pokemon, or choose to ignore them until a chance encounter. This optional and random nature allows players to approach the challenge any way they see fit. In Generation 4, the lore of random encounters is further expanded upon, with the introduction of the ancient promise that Pokemon made that they would always jump out at humans when they enter tall grass. As these examples show, the concept of random encounters has been a key part of the Pokemon experience, both gameplay-wise and story-wise. But it seems that Game Freak is trying to pull away from that concept in modern games for the sake of a less involved gameplay experience. In 2018, Game Freak released Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, inspired by the phenomenal success of Pokemon Go. The games took a marked turn to casualize in hopes of drawing in more Pokemon Go players. Part of this decision was to completely remove the random encounters, replacing them with wandering overworld models. Playing through these games, I felt a distinct lack of wonder that I had never felt in any of the previous games. The absence of random encounters meant that every Pokemon I saw was something that I saw on the overworld map and chose to run into. There was no magic. Even the shiny encounters appear on the overworld. There is no mystery or surprise to them. This, coupled with the dumbed down catching and battling mechanics, made this retread through the Kanto region the least enjoyable one I've had so far. Many veteran players agreed with this sentiment, and there were concerns about the upcoming Generation 8. Game Freak assuaged those worries with Sword and Shield, which saw a mix of the overworld encounters and the tall grass random encounters. Personally, I feel that the approach used in Sword and Shield was the best option. Game Freak then released Legend Arceus, which once again did away with random encounters, even though the lore in the game still references the Sinnoh story about the ancient Pokemon's promise to jump out at people in tall grass. Like the Let's Go games, Legends Arceus was an experimental subset of the main series, so I felt there was no need to be concerned. Then came Generation 9, Scarlet and Violet. Game Freak decided to remove the random encounters entirely, opting for the same wandering overworld encounters from Let's Go and Legends. I enjoyed Scarlet and Violet very much, but same as with Let's Go and Legends Arceus, I felt that lack of wonder to the Pokemon encounters. If Green Freak truly is planning to remove random encounters, then I feel the games lose a key part of their charm. I will continue to play and enjoy the games, of course, but I will miss this feature, and will feel that a part of the charm is missing without the tension and mystery of stepping into the tall grass and wondering what discovery awaits. There you have it. My thoughts on one feature that I feel is slowly missing from Scarlet and Violet, and I hope it's not an indicator of a future direction for the series. What do you think? Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comments. 
Also, let me know if you like this style of video, and I'll try to make more of them. Thanks for watching, and take care.